How's it going, guys? So, I did a little bit of work on the Explorer. Nothing mechanical. Um, just messing with some lighting and stuff. Um, I put on some Code 3 TRX 6s. They're amber in the grill. And then I put two more on the rear right here, as you can see. I'll flip them on real quick and show you. I have a switch box in here. For right now, it's just kind of wedged in the seat. That way I can pull it out and kind of move it around if I want. So the front one is the front strobes, rear is the rear, and then I put in a headlight flasher, but it's not fully working because I need another relay because the headlights on this vehicle, all the power and controls run to one and then they daisy chain to the other. And the headlight flasher, they need to be separate. So I have to run the headlights to separate relays. But I'll show you the front and rear real quick. I'm gonna sync together. There's the front. On to the rear. They're extremely bright. They are linear lenses, which means they're better for off access. They're not, you know, like one straight beam, kind of like what I have on the Elantra. They're TIR lenses, so they're like a straight beam. But as you can tell, this puts out quite a bit of light. And I'll show you the headlight flasher. So since I don't have it hooked up right, if I just have it on with no headlights, it flashes my high beams. But it doesn't make it too bad because if I have the parking lights on or any other light, the parking lights, the best ones, it alternates between the headlights and the fog lights, which is actually kind of cool. And it's really bright because you're running your brights and everything. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been messing with. Nothing really else has changed. But I'm going to end up keeping this, I think, until the spring. I'm going to do some work on it, fix the shock mounts, get the engine running better, fix the AC. Might be able to get more out of it in the spring but i kind of want something in the winter and something to kind of mess with like this i just did this this last weekend um i am gonna pull out the little 50 cc moped real quick it hasn't rained in over a week i think week and a half so i know the battery is kind of bad on it so i'm gonna pull it out and see if it'll start up all right here goes moment of truth on if this thing will start fuel gauge went up that's good we'll go set our parking brake here so i can start one-handed to run fired right up and she died it needs to kind of auto choke a little bit more but because it hasn't been started in a while. You can do it, little scooter. That's unlike riding a stalling scooter one handed. Oh, bunny rabbit. go uh, ride it around the college real quick and kind of help charge up the battery a little bit because it wasn't holding the charge at all for my co-worker the previous owner so I'm gonna go give this little ride as you can tell it's barely gotta make sure that new carb stays nice and clean 
but I'm gonna go take this for a spin. I'll see you in a second. It's doing pretty good. The only thing I noticed is it wasn't one to idle. When I came to a stop sign or signal, I did to shut off. I only rode it for maybe five minutes, but it should be plenty warm. So like it's idling now. Yeah, it's doing better now. On the road, I just came to a stop and you go blue dip and shut off. So I had to start it up twice, but not too bad. Still not spending very much money on this, so it only takes two bucks or so to fill up. We haven't ran it completely empty because it was acting up where it was acting like it was out of fuel when it was a little below half. But we'll see. Could just be getting all the gunk out of the gas and everything. So I've been running premium through it to see if that'll help. I might run some cleaner through it also but otherwise it's doing pretty good I still need to adjust that little trunk thing a little lid on it things a pain in the butt to get closed again so otherwise that's the only thing on this I might tighten up the brakes a little bit they're not too bad but they are a little squishy but other than that hopefully you enjoyed the video I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching